Generally, the researches are not as simple as the early students of psychology or the beginner researchers would do. But the exempt research could involve the researches which are of higher and secondary level. The secondary research study using identifiable private information or biospecimen is another example for that. Secondary research that uses identifiable private information or identifiable biospecimen is exempt of review if at least one of the following criteria is met. So, in certain situations, we can see that the secondary level of exempt research could be due if we have certain following points to meet the criteria. The first one is that these sources are publicly available. Agar kisi research ke jo sources hain, wo publicly available hain, jaise wo human participants ke kisi hum opinion survey ki baat karte hain, aur hum kehte hain ki election ke upar, opinion poll ke upar, we have the data of 3000 participants available that which party they are going to possibly vote in upcoming election. This is the available data source and it is, this is also called the secondary research study and it is also exempt research. Then information is recorded by the investigator in such a manner that participants cannot be identified directly or through identifiers. This is a situation in which someone has contributed to a pool and you are not going to identify that which participants has given the vote in favor of which party. Research is conducted by or on behalf of a federal department or agency using government, government generated op information obtained for non-research activities. So they could be the different part of organizations like the federal government, the provisional government, the law enforcing agencies, the Gallup surveys, the human and health department surveys, who may be going to do this kind of research and in the result of that research, it is not always mandatory that you are going to identify the specific participants and its response from the total opinion poll. So, when we do this kind of thing, then the secondary source is the exempt research that is not possible to identify from the inside that one common individual, a human subject, what opinion or what is giving them. But this is very important that you can take a general public opinion le sake, uh, whereas they don't have any fear that they are going to be judged because of their response. So, you know, in this situation, you have a true behavior reflect hota hai, a true opinion that comes in survey. Mein samne aata hai. Then research projects conducted or supported by federal department or agency. This type of research is also exempt if it is designed to study, evaluate, improve, or otherwise examine the public benefit, benefit or service programs and their procedures. So, koi bhi aisi research, jo hukumat kar rahi ho, ya koi bhi aisa khas idara kar raha ho, for instance, agar ek police department ne ek women's safety app launch ki hai, aur wo ye dekhna cha rahi hai, ki kitni khawateen us app ko use karengi, ya usko istamal karke protected feel karengi, to a general survey run kar sakti hain jis mein women's ki identity to reveal nahi hogi lekin uske sath sath ye information easily mil jayegi ki kitne log us app ke sath comfortable hain install kar sakte hain ya usko wo effectively use kar sakte hain taste and food quality and consumer acceptance ye bhi ek domain hai jiske andar hum exam research bahut zyada karte hain this research is very much important especially in now a days where the food authority department is working very effectively to identify the problems which is involved in different food areas or restaurants mein or food deliveries mein or food ke cooking mein kya kya problems ho sakte hain uski manufacturing mein to wahan pe exempt research is very important to conduct this research is exempt if a, if a food is consumed containing ingredients found to be safe agar aap kisi research ke andar kisi food ki quality ko dekh rahe hain aur wo koi human subjects involved hain jo usko kha rahe hain to wahan par bhi exempt research consider hogi lekin ye ki wo ingredients jo hain wo ensure karna zaruri honge ki ye safe hain then food containing agriculture chemicals or environmental contain, uh, cont contamination at or below level found to be safe yani usme kisi bhi tarah ki koi contamination nahi honi chahiye koi chemical ya agricultural uh, jo hazardous components hain wo add nahi hone chahiye aur unko safe hona chahiye and they have to be checked by food and 
ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन लेट्स लाइक यू यू नो अगर हम कोई फार्मूला मिल टेस्ट कर रहे हैं बच्चों पे और वो अप्रूव हुआ हुआ है कि इसका कोई भी नुकसान बच्चों की सेहत को नहीं होगा तो उसकी ग्रोथ का टेस्ट हम कर सकते हैं ऑन इन्फेंस जो कि उस उस फार्मूला मिल को ले रहे हैं एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर चिल्ड्रेन हु आर नॉट टेकिंग फार्मूला मिल सो इस तरह की रिसर्च एग्जाम रिसर्च होती हैं लेकिन इसमें सेफ्टी और उसके अंदर जो uh, किसी भी तरह का कोई हार्म इन्वॉल्व नहीं होता उन इन्फेंट्स के लिए उन बच्चों के लिए जो कि उसमें पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे होते हैं इसी तरह हम डिफरेंट फूड्स जो कि अवेलेबल होती हैं मार्केट में एंड दे आर यू नो अप्रूव टू बी टेकन बाय ह्यूमन सब्जेक्ट्स उनके कंपैरिजन में अगर कोई रिसर्च कर रहे हैं और उसका कोई नुकसान नहीं है लेकिन हम कुछ उसके कोई हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स देख रहे हैं तो वहाँ पर भी हम एक एग्जाम रिसर्च कंडक्ट कर सकते हैं सो दे आर द डिफरेंट सेटिंग्स इन विच वी कैन कंडक्ट एग्जाम रिसर्च but yet we need to see different regulations which should be followed fully